Hi Bison, it's Miss Callie and I'm missing you so much that I thought today we could sing and we could play and we could make some art together. So, here I am sending you a video, missing you, wish we were in our classroom. All right, won't you clap a word with me, word with me, word with me, won't you clap a word with me, let's clap Bison. Bison, bison, two. Won't you clap a word with me? Word with me, word with me. Won't you clap a word with me? Let's clap. Chimpanzee. Ready? Chimpanzee, 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 three. Won't you clap a word with me, word with me, word with me? Won't you clap a word with me? Let's clap. Dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. Won't you clap a word with me, word with me, word with me? Won't you clap a word with me? Let's clap. Flower. Flower, flower, two. Won't you clap a word with me? Word with me, word with me. Won't you clap a word with me? Let's clap. Art, 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 one. And speaking of art, I thought we could make some drawings together today. And we're going to use some letters to make a boy and a girl. So get a piece of paper, get a marker, and let's write. Where do you start your letters at the top? I'm holding my marker down low. I have a finger pinching, and I'm going to start my B for boy, b, b, boy at the top. A big line down. A little curve. It goes in front. B has a belly in the front. B. Now I'm going to have an O. A circle. And last, a Y. A Y is a little curve. And a big, long monkey tail. Make it nice and big because we're going to pull a line from the B to the Y. That's the chin of the boy. Next, let's add some spiky hair. So I'm going to make a zigzag line, sliding down, boing, sliding back up. Almost like some M's. And then I'm going to close it up. Now these two circles will be his eyes. What's he missing on his face? Well, what do we have? A nose and a mouth. Let's give him a nose. Let's give him a mouth. And we just made a boy with the word boy. But let's make a girl with the word girl now. Where do you start your letters at the top? Girl. G. 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 The G says G. The G says G. Every letter makes a sound. The G says G, 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 girl. I'm going to make a magic C to start my G. Then frog jump to the top. Boing. Pull a big, long monkey tail down. I, little I, dot on top. R, little line down, candy cane hook. An L, a big line down. Girl, girl, that's the word girl. Now we're going to change this word into a drawing of a girl. So to do it, we're going to touch the bottom of the L and do a big curve, another big long monkey tail. Now let's give her her head. A head is kind of an oval shape, so let's make a curve on top. Well, I see an oval. That looks like an oval to me. Now let's give her hair on one side 
a hair on the other. Now she needs a smile. That's our girl. Maybe you want to add a JoJo bow on top. Make it X. Put a dot in the middle. You just drew a girl with the word girl. How cool is that? Oh, guys, I wish I could play outside today, but it has been raining here. It's been raining outside. It's been raining outside. It's been raining all over the trees, the trees. It's been raining all over the trees. It's been raining outside, it's been raining outside, it's been raining all over the grass, the grass, it's been raining all over the grass, I bet the grass likes it though. It's been raining outside, it's been raining outside, it's been raining all over the cars, the cars, it's been raining all over the cars. Can you think of something it's been raining on? It's been raining outside. It's been raining outside. It's been raining all over the, the. It's been raining all over the. Oh, it has. Thank you. I hope the rain will stop so we can play outside some this afternoon. But while we're stuck inside in this rainy weather, I thought we could make a paper airplane together. So find a piece of paper. I have one here and it's what shape? A rectangle. Let's count. One, two, three, four sides. How many corners? Let's count. One sharp pointy corner. Two, three, four. Four corners. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see my folds and put the paper down here. Let's see. There we go. I have the circles in my paper toward me because I don't want them on the nose. I want them on the tail. So if your paper doesn't have little circles, even better. We're going to use our pinching L's to make this paper airplane. We're going to take two corners with our pinching L's and Line them up with the other corners. When you make the corners touch, you can push down to make your fold. Now I'm going to draw a line on my fold in bright orange so you can see exactly where it is on the camera. Okay, down the middle, I've divided it into one, two, halves. Two halves make a whole. I have two halves of my rectangle, two smaller rectangles. Get out those pinching L's, grab the corner, make it touch the line in the middle. And it made a point at the top. Grab the other corner and make it touch the line in the middle. Ooh, now it looks like a house. But I want it to be an even pointier house, so I am going to take this corner here, not the top, that's the nose of the plane. This corner here, I'm going to lift and pull to the middle line, push down, I'm going to grab over here, grab, slide down, grab this corner, I'm going to make it touch the middle line. Ooh, and now I have a really pointy house. That's going to make my airplane maybe a little faster. I'm going to fold this in half. So I flipped it over, and that orange line is where I'm going to fold in half. Now I've got a long, pointy diamond shape. I'm going to fold down a wing. So I'm going to grab this line and pull it to the bottom. And I have a folded wing. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Pull down and make it touch the bottom. And that's going to be my other wing. Let's see here. Oh, wow. If I lift the wings out, I have a place to hold on to on the bottom. Again, I'm going to use that pinching L. And I have a paper airplane. But even more fun, we're going to make a target. 
So I grabbed a piece of newspaper and I'm going to cut some shapes into my newspaper. I'm going to use my scissors. Thumb, fingers, thumb on top. Open, close, open, close, open, close. This hand stays pointing out. This hand drives the paper. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. And I have a target. Let's open this up. What shapes do you see? I see an oval. I see a circle. Another circle and an oval. This can be my target. And I can hang this up in the house and try to get my paper airplane through it. All right. Now, Bison, let's sing another song together before I show you one last kind of art project for the day. Birdie, birdie, in my window. Birdie, birdie, in my window. Birdie, birdie, in my window. Won't you sing a song for me? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. Now I wanted to show you how to make your very own watercolors at home if you don't have any. So I have a cup of water because it's the ingredient that makes the watercolor into a liquid. I have some markers. Any washable markers will do. And I have a piece of Oh yeah, that shiny aluminum foil. We like to make sculptures with this. We like to wrap objects in this and play guessing games. We love aluminum foil. Today we're gonna use it as an art palette. Now the palette holds the paint. So I've got my aluminum foil and it's gonna be my palette and I'm gonna make some watercolor paint. So look down at my hands and you'll see I've kind of got all my materials, water, a paintbrush, aluminum foil, and my paper. I'm going to take a marker and color a spot on my aluminum foil. Okay, I've got a green spot. Click, 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 or the marker will get sick. Let me add another spot. I'm going to color, 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 back and forth. I'm making a patch of color on my aluminum foil. Another one, color, 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 pink. Ooh, what's this color? Orange. All right, let's color a big patch of orange. And I have a little yellow. Let me add a little yellow patch of yellow. Now, to get the paint off of the aluminum foil, because I just have colored spots on my aluminum foil, dip your paintbrush in the water Remember to wipe it across the side. You don't want too much water and rub it in your ink. Rub it on the aluminum foil. Now I'm gonna move this to the paper and, whoa, I have bright green paint. Let me switch colors. I dipped it in the water to switch colors. Now I have a light blue. Now mine are highlighters. I didn't have any washable markers at home, you guys. So your colors will be brighter than mine. Mine are kind of light. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see it. I only had Sharpies or this. This was the only watercolor I had, but the colors will come off and you can make your own watercolor paintings out of just markers and stuff you have at home. All right, Bison, I miss you. I'll post another video with some ideas, some fun things to do, some ways to play at home, and just know I'm thinking of you and Miss Katie's thinking of you, and we love you very much, and we hope you're having fun with your families. Bye, guys.